that we we really studied uh, hard. <laughs> and first of all, I would like to, to say thank you to Professor Shimi because she was really kind to me, and uh, for sure thank you to Lucianza because she was a really good partner. And thanks to all of the people of the landscape uh, studio. Uh, maybe a special thanks to Lucia, right? <laughs> because she helped us a lot. So, um, we are going to talk about the Martian Wheel Road. Martian is the name of the old factory. It is a sort of preliminary study as a strategy for the new urban regeneration, as you can see. Um, so, the report um, will be in this way. I will just um, speak with few words <laughs> in English my poor English, and Usantia will translate in Chinese. So I think we can start. Martian for factory because it was the first factory that Rong family built in Ushi. Uh, Rong family built lots of factories uh, around China, and um, there is the surrounding area of the Martian for factory that is really full of history, uh, natural attractions because of the rivers, uh, because of the Chinese gardens. And you will see in the, in the next uh, slides. center of the city stands along the Grand Canal River that is the most important canal in, uh, in, uh, in China. This is about analysis, analysis about growth, about uh, railway routes and the water system. So this is Ushi city, I mean the, the borders of the city, and this is the, um, the core of the city. One, two, three uh, stands for Beitang, Chong'an and Nanchang, that are the three districts. Um, 
the most important districts in Ushi and our, um, our area stands in, in the middle, yes, in Nanchang Street, in the middle of this red circle. This is a map about how many historical attractions and natural attractions there are nearby the three districts that we showed before. And this is just analysis about uh, the green system, the water system. We decided to add this because you will see how is important the relationship between green, water and history. This is a picture that uh, I took and you can see the surrounding area of a machine for factory. You can see how the green, the water and the new skyscrapers behind our area. That actually is this area. Okay, these are just pictures that show you, show you uh, the surrounding um, main uh, buildings run by our factory. That is this one. the next slides are about the evolution because our approach was about before understand what is um, the, the main historical uh, how can I say the main historical matters uh, that uh, are involving in our area so we started about understand what is the evolution of the Ushi city Ushi center so this is a map about 1494 Ming Dynasty. As you can see, the black line stands for the ancient wall with the four gates and the canal that was in the middle. This is another map about Qin uh, Dynasty. You can see the ancient wall were still there, but uh, they added canals inside the ring and bridges. And this is really important. This is the Tao Bai Dun. I am sorry for my Chinese pronunciation. But I think it is more or less Tao Bai Dun. Isle that is that was really really mm, next to the west gate of the city center. 
This is another map about 1916. Um, so this was the Tabadun Isle that was connected with uh, that was connected to another district in south of the Uchi Ring. And from this slide you can see the spread of the spread of the factories run by the the, the ancient canal that actually surrounded the the Ushi uh, historical center. So from 1974. Uh, this is more or less the situation right now. This is a map, it's not a map, it's a, yes, that is a map, but this is a list of the, uh, uh, by the government. And you can see how many factories there still are, are in the Ushi historical center. Our factory is the number six, Martian Floor Factory. That you can see it stands in the Tabadun Isle that we showed before. So this is about the evolution of our place. 1915, the Rock family built the factory. The factory was destroyed in 1937 and uh, it was rebuilt in the same place in 1946. This is the situation uh, about 1990s. Uh, they added a new building that actually is that building, yes, that building, uh, that is still now the government office. They added a new floor. This is important because, <coughs> as you can see, in 2000, there was the bridge that actually they destroyed in, in the recent years. And you will see, in our, um, among our concepts, we decided to rebuild this bridge because it is really um, a good connection between the Taibadur Isle 
and uh, the border of the Rushi city center. This is a problem that we thought about the ways how to solve. Because they built in 2007, so just six years uh, ago, a huge road to connect the Ushi historical center to the, <coughs> to the, uh, to the neighborhood. So this huge road actually um, divides the old factories area in two parts because you can see on the right you have the machine for factory and on the left of the road you have the brick factory that was a warehouse and you will see there, is, there are other factories on the left. So it divided. Yes, as I uh, was showing you, um, this is our factory, but here there is the brick factory, Changxin textile factory, and here there is the Shenxin, Shenxin, Shenxin third textile factory. So this is our factory. You can see the road, the huge road, that actually divide, divided and still divides this area from all of this area. them are about our analysis but this is about Ushiri so you can see that it's like a ring because <laughs> you can see that uh, we showed uh, about the Ming dynasty, Qing dynasty, the ancient world that they destroyed, they destroyed in 1950 but the situation of the plan of the, of the city is still a situation that represents a sort of ring nearby the historical center. So you can see the core landscape areas, the historical sites, public green space, the river walk site, all of this stuff. It's like they run, they um, run by the, the ring that actually is the ancient canal, is the river. And this is about analysis about our surrounding area. 
this is our factory and this is about functions this is about car parking, bus stops and this is a sort of, a sort of summary about bridge, core, industrial so you can see there are so many uh, factories run by our area landmarks, riverside roads and so on And this is about the factory. So, from the surrounding area to our place. <coughs> These are just pictures about the, the stuff that are nearby the factory. Bridges, lots of bridges. Thank you. 
是展示龙氏家族以及办公的一个场景，也是服务于整个。<咳>所以，这是现在所处的现状。现在，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处的现状。所以，这是现在所处
Okay, so I see people sleeping, so don't worry because uh, the ana analysis part is ending. <laughs> so maybe the report is getting more fun. Um, this is about the design goals. So these four are the main goals that we followed about our design proposals. So strengthen the relationship between river and downtown, new sites seeing routes that people empathize with industry heritage and attractive and excited environment. This is about Ushi Ring and our surrounding area. Uh, so next slides are about suggestions in order to enjoy the new Ushi ring. So, you just can see the view. You have lots of opportunities run by the, the Ushi ring, <laughs> lots of activities. So we just thought how to create a system, how to make a system with all the activities, the, the historical attractions, the core landscape and so on. This is just a spot about how about what it could be. A sort of pushing for tourists, for new tourist routes. So we thought about a new walking uh, New walking route, uh, a bicycle uh, system with, uh, I mean, using a bike sharing system. This is about the underground. <coughs> this is about uh, river route. This is about lightness. So thanks to all of the analysis, we thought about a new a new way. Uh, about joining the Ushi, Ushi ring. So uh, that is the Ushi railway station. So starting from the railway station and you can join by bicycle, then by, by boat, by walking and so on. So from the city to our surrounding area, this is a sketch about the new goals, no, the, the, the concepts about surrounding area. So these are the concepts about how to solve the problems that we showed before. We showed before that there is not enough space 
I mean public space for pedestrian people. So we thought about an underground parking in this place. A wind rain bridge. Do you remember? I showed before, we showed before that in 2000 there was a bridge, but they destroyed the bridge in recent years. So we thought about rebuild the bridge because it will be the most important connection between the Tabla Durum and this book. This is about the rooftop, how to enjoy the rooftop, because we have lots of pipelines in our uh, factory. And this is about a new landscape design about the riverside. So in this way you can have a seat, walk set, bike routes and cars. So in this way you, you can feel safe. I mean, because right now there is a sort of overlap uh, about the different routes. Maybe this is one of the most important because this is the, the road no, that divides this part from this part. So we thought about replace the, the ancient, the old factories area by create a, a sort of bridge here because actually this is the shape of the road. So we thought about pull up and create a bridge. So in this way you can create a pedestrian connection between this area and this area in order to not have this area insulated like it is, uh, I mean like the, the, the situation right now. So there will be a, a huge square here. We thought about a different scheme because it will uh, be the, the main facade on the road and uh, we thought about uh, create um, a sort of hole in the brick factory because here we have another underground connection so in this way you can have a sort of promenade that connect this area so the brick factory and the other three factories because all of them are factories with our place in order to have a continued uh, connection about industrial heritage. Thank you. 
Okay, this is just about uh, the new master plan about uh, the surrounding area, so new access, the new core landscape, how to create a system, so echo network, liveness, different uh, areas because different noises, uh, the new circulation and the new green dot. So this is about the new activities that you can, uh, you could join in the new master plan that we sketched, actually that Sancia uh, sketched. Uh, so maybe the most important thing that I have to say about this slide is that the main goal was to create a sort of industrial park using all of the, <coughs> the, the important opportunities that we still have in this area. So from the Shishui uh, uh, Dong, uh, Shishui Dong uh, factory uh, to the brick factories, the here, the, that is another old factory that could be art center. So we thought about put um, exciting activities in the old factories in order to create a world system starting from our machine for factory that actually will be the museum of industry and the commerce of China and this part that we thought and we will see, you will see later it will be the the, the the most attractive part of the building because it stands uh, in front of the huge road so we needed um, a more attractive scheme so the function will be uh, museum labs where people can have an interaction with the uh, with uh, the industrial uh, machines that we have in the factory and so on. So these are maybe 
the most funny slides that we have. Uh, this is about uh, like visions, no? feelings about the new uh, surrounding area, riverside. <laughs> Yes, Leisure Square. So this is the new bridge that we thought. So you can see there is still the road, but it's completely different the feeling because you can go from this place to that place and the opposite. <laughs> New routes, as we showed before. So you have a route for bicycle, a route for walking. You have stairs that um, uh, let uh, yeah, that let the river um, uh, become more friendly, you know, to the people. And there you have the road. So the road is. Uh, is on a different level, so you can feel safe in this. Uh, I mean, um, joining these new routes. And this is just a sketch about the wall area. As you can see, we decided to keep this facade that is the old facade of a brick that is made up of brick and uh, you can see the pipelines that are really cool, cool, cool. <laughs> and, um, and this is the new bridge that we thought about so you will see we changed the main gate, the main access that actually is behind this building from this place to this place because um, it is more close, it is closer to the border of the Ushi Rin and in this way you create a system about new gates with our factory, with the brick factory and so on And these are the last slides about the concept about our building. And this is about feelings. So these are just um, suggestions that we had about enjoying our rooftop. I mean, <coughs> rooftop of the Martian for Factory. This is a project about Le Corbusier. <coughs> How to create interaction. This is a picture that I took in uh, Red Town, Shanghai. You can see the child doesn't know about what, what is that, but he plays the, the same just because it's a, a cool object. So object that let people discover and creates memory because we have lots of pipelines so we decided to keep the pipelines because you can understand oh the pipeline so maybe there is a history about something that is industrial uh, 
机器都是在玻璃盒子里面，所以我们其实有一个大胆构想，就是可以释放这些机器，是否有一部分可以放到室外，可以增进人们对这些工业工业文化的一个了解。This is about the concept that we we have about the new skin on the road that you will see later. Okay, put flowers in hotlines. So this is about the elements that we have. We have lots of machines like this. So really cool shapes. In our factory, we have pipelines, the brick skin on the river side. We have lots about history. They are the Rome brothers that built this factory in 1950. And you will have um, uh, really special and really interesting views from uh, the factory. Because actually, there are no huge buildings nearby our factory. So this is about the new shape of the factory. This is the factory right now and this is the library. So the library hides the museum because you cannot understand what is over there because of the library. And there is no balance between the, the two volumes. I mean, this shape and this shape. Actually, this is the old building, and this is something that they added in the recent years. So we thought about first these are the direction. This is the direction to the ring, this is to the brick factory. So we use this direction to uh, create a new sheet that you will see in the next slide and destroy this part of the building and use the same volume in the floor that we add here and for the show up boxes that you will see in the next slide. So here you can see it's just about shapes and new balance between the old building and the new one. Um, we use this direction to design the two new gates and these are the show up boxes. This, um, I mean, we have lots of machines in the factory, but they are all of them are indoor. So we thought about uh, how can we attract people uh, by the huge road that is almost here? Uh, so we thought about put some of the machines in these show up boxes. This is glass, in order that you can see all this strange stuff from the road and. For sure, they will attract you. So you will, you will think, what, what, what is over there? And I mean, immediately you can understand that there is something over there that reminds you the industrial heritage, because you can see the industrial machines.
这两个面呢，都是我们新设的一个博物馆的一个主要的入口，和它的轴线也是有非常明显的一个关系的，都是考虑到了更大的一个人们的一个通行。So okay, create contrast uh, using different materials, and uh, yes, this is what I I mean. Attractive facade from the usual, and a new gate here and there. So this is just a summary about new functions. It will be this area will be the industrial theme park, something like this one. This will be the museum, the small culture, the outdoor square, and the new two gates that actually come from the two most important directions. One is from the Ushi Ring border, and one is from the the, the corridor that uh, there is starting from the other factories that we showed before. So we decided how um, in order to create a contrast between the old building that will be the museum and the new one that actually is not a new one building, it's just one floor added and just this key. So we decided to keep the brick skin on the riverside and use a new skin from the new building that actually could be a curtain steel. So here you can see just feelings about the new views. So this could be our rooftop. We will use the pipelines to uh, as a lighting system. The main gate made up of glass. Okay, the industrial park that I uh, and interactive labs inside this building because this will be the museum of industry this will be something different just something that has to attract people to get inside the We are sorry if it was too boring, but... <laughs> All of this stuff will be continued because when I will come back to Italy, I will just uh, go on about the design part. But I think that we started a lot. <laughs>